Hey, 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 welcome back to the show. Uh, let me make sure that we're live and clear and everything is working here. Uh, okay. Got my stuff here. I can see myself. Okay, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the 4% Entrepreneur Show. This is the final episode. We're going to talk about money here. I'm just putting this stuff from the last episode, right? How many of you guys have watched this um, uh, uh, this series here last time? So you've been through series number one, uh, session number one, then we had uh, part two. Today, this is uh, part three of creating your money machine series, yes? Make sure that I can see you all. Okay, great to be here with you guys. I've got, we're gonna cover a lot of stuff today. Okay, so if you have been following, if you missed any of the parts here, if you missed part one, part two, or part three, um, you can go back and you can find those. You can be sure to watch them, right? If you care about uh, this topic, that is, right? If you don't care about the topic, if you're like, dude, I'm good, you know, money's handled, I am okay, you know, I don't need any help financially, um, I don't need any help with marketing, then, dude, do whatever you want, right? This is not, uh, the, the whole intention here, the whole idea here is to share with you, you know, strategies and ideas and tactics and, and thinking patterns and, um, and actions uh, that you can model and replicate, uh, you, you know, for your business, for what you do for your life, and take your game to the next, to the next level, yep. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been following the, the show, have been watching all of them. Okay, great. Okay, so here's what I wanna talk to the, to about today, okay? So I'm gonna assume you guys have, uh, we're all caught up here watching this. Um, if you're not, this might not make sense to you, right? So, but again, continuation from the last episode. By the way, this is session three. Uh, this is gonna be the, the final session, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap everything up and we're gonna talk about specifically how do you get that money, right? So last session here, we talked about, you know, we did that exercise. So I gave, um, I gave the spreadsheet and, uh, you know, if you had a chance to download that spreadsheet, it was a, a Google Share Doc. Um, I don't know how to make it shareable on a per or editable on a per individual basis. So what I'll do is, um, it's maybe a little bit later on, I'm gonna put that sheet inside of the 4% members area. If you guys have an account with 4%, we'll just put that up as a, as a template that you can just model and edit for yourself personally. Because I think if we, a lot of people have, like hundreds of people emailed us asking to, to edit that, that form, but um, we'll do something about it later on. We'll put it up in the, in the 4%, okay? Now, we did a little bit of an exercise last time uh, where we determined together, right, that, um, the ideal life that we're creating, the ideal life situation or the, uh, or, or the big dream that, that, you know, this dream lifestyle we would like to live, will cost what? About $23,667 a month, okay? This would get us like the cool stuff that we want in life, right? <clears throat> How many of you guys did that exercise for yourself? I'm curious to know your number. Just throw your number out here real quick because today what I wanna talk about is how do we come up? How do we do, how do we, you know, so what we did is we took that number, which is your, your, your lifestyle expense, right? Your burn rate. This is your number, okay? K-Y-N, know your number, okay? So you gotta know your number and your present, you know, burn rate of the lifestyle you have. And then you wanna know your number exact, what that would look like for your dream lifestyle. And so everything we, we need to do from this point moving forward is to stem from that dream lifestyle number, but we have to reverse engineer the actions and the plan and strategies and, and then you know, come up to the, um, with a solution uh, or an outcome to where we can have that money uh, coming to us, right? Eventually or ultimately, whether we work or not. That's, the, that's really the, the financial freedom, the definition of financial freedom is to you can have your, your lifestyle sustained, um, whether you work or not, okay? So let's see, I'm actually curious on some numbers here. Uh, Phyllis says 25K per month. Now Phyllis, are you talking about the R number here, the receiving account number, or are you talking about the G number, which is your, your lifestyle? I assume you're talking about this number here, yes? The G number? So we got 27, we got 17, 5, 62. That's really precise, Bruce, that's awesome, I love it, man. Uh, somebody says mine is 20K a month, okay, great. 26. 77, 25K a month, okay, uh, Adrilita Sane, Rick Fron, great to see you, Vic, great to see you, Rick, as well, okay, uh, Ruben says 15,000, okay, great, so 
So what we did, okay, don't forget that, right? Whatever that number is, that's your monthly lifestyle. This does not include your savings, how much money you wanna save, how much money, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> how much money you, uh, you, know, you wanna give away, contribute, your business expenses, all that stuff is additional. It's separate, okay? You cannot commingle things. The reason people fail is because they're commingling things. So what we did last time is we took that number and we applied it to this model, which is my TWCGO model, right, that uh, I've developed for myself, works really, really well for me personally. Um, uh, it bring, it, it's gonna bring order in your life, I, I promise you that one, okay? So hopefully you guys are getting this by, by this time. So our receiving account now, we have determined that if we apply this number onto this model here, okay, it, it's gonna fall into this category, which is our personal or general account, so then our, our actual income that, you know, for you to sustain that lifestyle of, you know, whatever that number is, yeah, so in, in this example, I just use this example, it's 23,667. I actually need to engineer 118,000 per month, $118,335 per month. Let me ask you guys this, okay? 30K per month, some of you guys are having, oh my goodness, that's good, man. See, I like that, man. I like when people dream, right? D didn't, it, didn't it make you feel inspired a little bit, right? When you're thinking about stuff that you really want uh, and, and you put no limitations on it, right? Some of you guys are having pretty lavish, pretty lavish uh, aspirations. That's awesome, love it. Now, here's the challenge, okay? Here is where the, where the robber is gonna meet the road is how do we pull it off, yes? How do we pull it off? Hey, Sid, what's up, man? 1.30 a.m. here in India, loving this, this series, Mind Opening Education. Okay, great, brother. I, Appreciate it that you appreciate it. I've got to get to those spas. Okay, Phyllis really like those spas, okay. Okay, so, so the big question is, is, is how do we do this, okay? So in my example, I just use this example. You, you know, again, if you have been following this, this should make sense. Um, how do I get to this number? So this number becomes my target, okay? <clears throat> Forget about this. Um, following this model, right, I'm gonna be saving 11,000 a month. I'm gonna be giving away, okay? to charities, other people, and somebody asked me, you know, uh, uh, in, you know, send some, some messages to us and some support people, you know, are like, hey, people asking about how do you select charities? How do you select where to give to? Dude, it, it's up to you, I'm not here. I don't wanna be your financial advisor. I'm not gonna tell you what, you know. This is just a model. This is a framework that turned my life around just like that when it comes to money, right? It will, it will turn, it will bring order into your life financially. It will bring order to your life in your business. It will bring order into everything else and, and this will solve, if you get this right, okay, you guys? If you get this right, especially once we figure out how do we get to this, which we're gonna talk about today, okay? Look, money is not gonna solve 100% of your problems, but money will solve about 95 to 99% of your problems. Okay, you guys agree? That's just, just, true, just the truth, okay? And then you can figure out how to solve the rest of those 5% or extra, you know, the rest of that 1%. Um, okay, so, so, I wanna give away, okay? I wanna save. I wanna make sure that the taxes are paid. I wanna make sure that my dream lifestyle is sustained. I wanna make sure that there is enough money coming into my business so that I can uh, continue to plant those seeds, okay? Um, and, uh, and, and, so, and so this number becomes our focus here, okay? So let's just kinda circle that number and you're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and circle your number, whatever that number is. And then let's go ahead and put this number here, okay? And let's look at this number. Now, let me ask you guys this, <clears throat> okay? So in my example here, it's 118,335 a month, okay? <clears throat> that's a seven figure a year income, okay? That's a seven figure a year income. That's, that's a million dollars over a million dollars in a year. Let me ask you this, have you ever, how many of you guys here made uh, or earned $118,000 in a month? Okay, As, uh, if you can answer that question, please, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry. Got a little bit of cough going on here, you know, uh, one of those things. So how many of you guys have, have generated, have made this money? Here is where, here is the reality, okay? And we've gotta be very careful about this so we don't fall into some, some of the traps. Most people, okay, when they would see this number, they would automatically dismiss it from their head, subconsciously. Consciously, they like, hey, dude, this is awesome. Okay, subconsciously your, your life is being run by, sub, by your subconscious. Your heart beats by subconscious, you know, control, you know, subconscious, your, you know, your, your subconscious mind runs everything. It's how you feel, it's how you react to things. Somebody says something to you, you know, whether you snap or what your response is like, 
all that is subconscious. You know, when you go to the doctor, right, and, and they check you, they, they, they hit this little area here, and then your knee jerks, or your, your, you know, your leg jerks. All that stuff is subconscious condition. You, you can't consciously control that, right? So when it comes to money, when we can understand, okay, how this stuff works, I'm doing awesome, Eman. Okay, when we understand how this stuff works, and we turn it over to our subconscious, so that our subconscious mind picks up on this, it is easy, okay? Guys, write this down, making money is easy. Managing money is hard, okay? Making money is the easiest thing in the world, if you know how to do it. But there's a difference between making money and managing money, okay? We're gonna talk a little bit about, I wanna more, focus more on making, uh, uh, making money um, today, okay? So people that have never generated this, to them, this is gonna be a wishful thinking, okay? Wishful thinking. Uh, this is a dream. This is a pie in the sky. This is something that their mind cannot grasp. There's a couple things that, that um, I'm going to walk you through specific things that, that, you know, that we can do to break it up. Do I have my phone with me? I don't have my phone with me. Can you bring my phone from the, from the other room? Because <clears throat> we're going to use a calculator here, okay? What I need to do is I need to, if I, you know, if the most of my money I made is is let's say 5,000 a month, which is where most people can relate. If this is my present conditioning, okay? The difference between, if I'm a $5,000 a month man here, for me to become a $118,000 man, okay? This guy needs to be different, don't you think? This guy needs to operate differently, he needs to you know, think differently a little bit, okay? So when we're talking about money, uh, to, to bring it down to the very, very basic fundamental things, what is money, okay? Money is nothing but, uh, is, is, is is a reward for services rendered, okay? Is what we get, we get money by providing, thank you, by providing and delivering services to the marketplace, by serving the marketplace, okay? So there's, there's a few different ways that we can do this. If I'm making 5,000 a month, you know, working for somebody else, um, you know, and somebody says, well, I'm getting paid 20 bucks an hour, 30 bucks an hour, uh, and uh, some people have this mentality that they get paid by the hour, right? We all probably have done it at one point in time, we don't get paid by the hour. Even people working at a job, they don't actually get paid by the hour. You know, if you got paid for the hour, by the hour, you would get paid while you sleep, wouldn't you, right? You would get paid wh whether you show up to work or not. They don't, they don't pay you, f you know, for the hour, right? But we get paid, if you're working at a job, you get paid for the value that you deliver to the marketplace in that hour that you work. Right? So, so there's, there's a few different directions that we can go here to engineering this kind of stuff. Because ultimately what we really want is our first milestone in this example is to get here, first milestone. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus by, by keeping the focus on this number for as long as necessary until our wealth account here accumulates enough funds so that we can start investing. This is the pillar number three, right, of the money machine that will really, you know, breed and kind of feed your ultimate financial freedom. Whereas you have enough money in this account here accumulating to where you can start investing and then you can start making uh, money from your money. This is where your money takes over and your machine becomes self-sufficient, right? It feeds itself. And, and that's when you truly can take off and you can, you can have this number coming in every month probably even more by that time, simply th from your passive, completely passive income uh, streams, right? From your investments. So this is asset allocation and what you do. Ultimately, that's where your financial freedom comes in. But until then, right, we've got to do certain things. Now there's, there's a couple of things that, you know, uh, there's, there's a couple, uh, you know, thoughts that we can take here, or a couple directions we can, we can go here, right? If I'm, if I'm working at a job, I'm like, dude, Somebody's working at a job making $20 an hour. So if we can pay, you know, we get paid by, for the value that we deliver to the marketplace, the marketplace can be our employer, right? Can be the client that we work with, a consultant client or whatever. If we provide a certain value and we get paid by that value, okay? Can we make twice the amount of money that we're making in that hour? Yeah, right? By becoming more valuable probably. But there is always gonna be a limit, okay? Do you guys know many jobs, okay, so there's, there's this letter. What's the, anybody know what is the, what's the minimum starting wage here in the United States at least for money? Okay, what is that, seven bucks? 
something like that. Let's just say it's seven bucks, right? Seven bucks an hour, maybe seven fifty. I'm not sure. Haven't checked lately. Okay. Um, so if this is a letter, okay, we work for somebody else. So the, the you know if somebody is not very valuable, somebody sweeps floors or you know works at McDonald's flipping burgers and stuff like that, right? Not, not very not very valuable. It's very very easy to replace these people. So if somebody goes and you know, and, and, and pro, you know, provides more value or, or does a, you know, does a ser you know, services or job that's more valuable, they might get paid, you know, 15 bucks an hour. Now, there are some people that are making, you know, 50 bucks an hour, right? Hourly. 750, could be 750, yeah. Okay. Um, anybody know what's the top, what's the top, um, top salary in the United States? What is that? Would, would, would that be like what, about 50, maybe 60 million dollars? Would that be sufficient? Uh, you know, when we're talking about like sports people and stuff like that, that, that could be more. But let's say somebody over here at the top, let's say um, 50 million dollars a year, 60 million dollars a year, whatever that comes up to be, right? So let's do the math on camera here. I actually wonder what is that, 50 million divided by 12, that's 4 million a month, divided by, um, divided by 30, that's about 138,000 a day, divided by, let's say, uh, let's say regular, let's say eight, so about 17,000 an hour, right? About 17,000 an hour, okay? So there are, there are actually, if we would break it down by the hour, about 17,000 an hour. Okay, there are, there are actual jobs. Now, the, 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 <coughs> the thing is, is this. We can take a couple of routes here. We can, we can grind, 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 okay, with the skills that we have, and we will probably be limited to somewhere over here, okay, just by grinding, okay? Somebody says, you know, well, you gotta hustle, you gotta work more hours, and how many people do you know that are working really, really hard, okay? So it's not about working, working hard. Working hard is a component, but it's not about working hard and hustling and grinding all the time, okay? Because people in you know, other countries out there, uh, in the world, India, um, you know, Asian countries, I mean, those, some of those people work like crazy, right? Some people in the United States work crazy. My, my, my dad was working so, you know, construction, he was a welder. Um, construction workers work really, really hard. You know, I remember when I was going to, you know, I was in Arizona, in the summertime, it's like 120 degree heat, and these construction workers do that. That's hard work, but those guys getting paid about 15 bucks an hour, maybe 20 bucks an hour. Okay, so hard work is not the answer necessarily. Okay, for entrepreneurs, some entrepreneurs, how many of you guys know that are hustling? Hustle, hustle, hustle. There is all the different memes and stuff like that. You gotta hustle. You gotta work more. You gotta, you know, sleep two hours. And if that's the only thing that you, that, that you buy into, you're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna kill yourself and, and you will not make a lot of money. So the, the answer is not more work, it's not more hustle, it's not having two jobs. I remember when we got to the United States, you know, coming from a different country, um, some of our you know, friends and relatives, they would take three jobs. You know, they would work in the morning, they would work in the afternoon, you know, a di different place, and then they would go overnight to work in a yet a different place. Crazy, it's not sustainable, right? But at the end of the day, they're still broke. Okay, so you guys are watching this. Our approach is gonna be a little bit different, yes? So our approach is we're gonna figure out how do, how do we do this by working smart. Now, specifically at, as it relates to, to marketing on the internet, as everybody watching this, are, you know, we're all online marketers, so let's talk about how do we engineer this. So my question is, okay, this is very, very important. When this, when this becomes my focus, so, so step number one is I gotta get in focus, okay? I gotta get the number and have it clear, focused, right? Just like that camera lens, if it's out of focus, it's blurry. Your number has to be clear, in focus. It's gotta be crystal clear, that's step number one. Step number two, never, ever, ever allow yourself, and this is conscious thinking, never allow yourself to fall into the trap to think that you cannot do this, because that would be a mistake. Because the moment you tell yourself you cannot do something, guess what? You're gonna be right, okay? You will be right. So you don't need to know how you're gonna do that just yet, okay? Because we're gonna figure that out. What you need to know is you need to know the next focus. So this is focus number one, this is focus number two, okay? Once you, once you know your number, 
to focus on. Then focus number two is this. Okay? This becomes your motto. How, how do I, how do I create $118,000 in income per month? How? Okay? So Nigel is saying, yeah, if you guys are looking for that, uh, if you guys are looking for that spreadsheet, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, go ahead and create yourself an account into 4% and I'll, I'll post it in the back office somewhere, okay? Hang on. <coughs> I am on, I'm on live. Will ping, my developer is texting me, hold on. Will ping in a few. Okay. So all of my, all of my attention as an entrepreneur next becomes on this word how, and this is a question, okay? How? Why can't I, why can't I have the life that I want? Why can't I make 118,000? All of those are wrong questions, okay? Your quality of answers, your quality of life will be determined by the quality of questions you ask yourself continuously, okay? So every day I'm gonna ask myself, as I'm, go as I'm driving in the car, as I'm going about my business, as I'm brainstorming, as I'm scheming, right? About you know, your business, your, your ideas, as you talk to people, as you go to conferences, the only question that should be on your in your mind, right, is how do I get here? How do I get here? Make sense so far, yes? How do I get here? So what's gonna happen here is when you, when you ask yourself enough of that how, okay, there's another component to where you need to have a goal in front of you as often as possible. And that goal, okay, this is just a price tag on really what you want, okay? Don't focus on the money, focus on what this is going to get you because that's where your emotional connection will start to pick up, right? Your subconscious mind picks up, not on the number, this is digits, it's nothing. It's, it's air, it's nothing, it's just made up stuff, right? Dollars is just made up stuff. They just made up a dollar, printed on paper, and it's, people kill each other for that dollar, right? It's crazy. Uh, and, and nowadays it's not even that, it's just you know, digits in a bank, it, it, like, it's a perception, okay? So, but, but what that represents is really what we're after. So we need to make sure that our emotional connection, our emotional focus is on the right thing. And then we ask ourselves, how do I get that so that you can have that, right? Whatever that, that thing, you know, that's gonna get you. Now next, I'm gonna walk you guys through a, a path, okay? Um, there's, there's several different ways that we can go about doing this. We can do a product launch, we can create. Now, the more valuable that we will become to the marketplace, the easier that it will be for us to, to make this money. I started out, all right, I had, no, I had no value to the marketplace, zero, okay, as it relates to internet marketing. So I'm gonna, you know, I mean, we can spend two hours here talking about uh, different ideas here, different, you know, ways that we can do, do we can, I can sell, I can sell this pen on eBay and I can make an extra, I don't know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever this thing costs, I don't, I don't even know, 50 bucks maybe, right? I can start selling my possessions, I can start selling whatever, right? The, the, the old phones I don't use, I can start selling my, my, my clothes, I can do a garage sale, I can sell my car, I can sell a lot of different things to start generating a little bit of cash, but it's not sustainable, unless you make that to be your business, right? Now, I can go, I can do e-commerce, you know, you can do e-commerce and, uh, <coughs> you know, drop shipping, a lot of people talking about buying at a sale over here, reselling over here, making a little bit of profit. Yeah, so, so you have to figure out what's gonna be good for you, okay? Um, I can go and, um, you know, I can, pr I can join a multi-level marketing company, for example, right? And I can promote um, a company, right? I can build a team and I can do that. Um, but you gotta understand, no matter where you go, you take yourself with you all the time, okay? Uh, in network marketing, for example, a lot of people here watching me, you know, we talked about it, I think, it, in session two or session one. Network marketing, average distributor is generating 2,400 bucks a year. That's like $240 or something like that uh, a month. It's, it's crazy, it's like 200 bucks a month, okay? So you cannot live on that, okay? And because most people are not, most people are, are floating at the bottom of the bottom, okay? I can tell you this, to save you guys time, if you are somebody who is just starting out, okay, let me know if this is if you're somebody who, you know, who doesn't have a product. Um, if perhaps you tried to sell, you know, other people's products and you failed, uh, perhaps you're you're trying to create something of your own. Maybe you have you see yourself as a speaker, as an author, maybe a coach, consultant. There's all these different directions. 
What we need to do is we need to get clear. We need to get clarity on what it is that we're going to do now to get us to this first milestone so that we can get here. Okay? Focus. If I'm going to try to do five different things, hoping to get over here, my focus is going to be diverse, and I only got 24 hours in a day, I will get nothing. Okay? If I try to chase five rabbits at the same time, I'm not going to do it. Okay? And you, know, you want to try it for yourself, go ahead and do it. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I promise, it's, it's going to be really difficult. You're going to be frustrated, you're going to burn out. So what I would rather do is I need to have the right strategy. Okay? There's three things. We need to have the awareness. Okay, we talked about it. I think if you guys follow me, number one is I need to have the right awareness on what it takes to do this. And I'm going to walk you through the plan here in a minute. Number two, I've got to have the right blueprint. Okay, number three is I've got to take action. The three step formula will get you anything you want in this life. Okay, most people are taking massive action, they're not lacking action because they would go into a conference and they get pumped up, you know, pumped out of their minds and they're like, dude, I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna go tackle the world head on, I'm gonna go through brick walls and I'm gonna go and, and bust my head against any obstacle, right? And that's exactly what they do, they just bust their head against obstacles and they get killed. So they're taking massive, ridiculous, massive action following a wrong blueprint, having no awareness of what it really takes, okay? Let me ask you a question. Can somebody make $118,000 as a free world entrepreneur, right, um, in any industry? Can an insurance agent do this? Absolutely. Okay, if you sell insurance, can you engineer, can you create a plan to where you can make $118,000 per month consistently? Yes. Okay, if you are in network marketing, can you do this? Yes. Okay, in fact, there are some people, very, very few people, that are able to do this kind of numbers uh, in network marketing. There's virtually every major industry, okay, that we can be part of where we can engineer this. Make sense? Okay. So, I'll tell you guys this. For me, when I got started, okay, my, uh, and again, you know, doing this for almost all, over 14 years now, um, I can tell you this unequivocally, without a shadow of a doubt, okay, the easiest path for somebody to get into the money, okay? Secondary to this, number one is you gotta understand how to do this, okay? But the, the easiest path to do that, it would be to align yourself in the right industry, okay? With the right company, that's already established, and then sell their products, sell products as independent affiliate, okay? Now let me let me let's talk about this. Um, I started out as an independent affiliate selling products from a company in a booming industry. Okay, the industry's got to be booming industry. I don't have to create a company. Most people that teach you well, you have to create your own product. Okay, anybody know how what it takes to actually create a product? What does it take to to actually build a company? Right. The reason most people fail is because they have no awareness on what it takes to create a product, what it takes to establish a company. It's not just a logo and the registration in your state attorney's office, right? Um, it's a lot of work. And so a lot of people are going that direction, you know, because they're buying into this concept, well, you have to own your own thing. I'll tell you this, if you cannot be successful selling somebody else's thing, you will never, ever, mark my word, ever be successful selling your own thing, never. Never, okay, it will never happen. So the easiest, as I see it, this is again, this is my, you know, my take on this, um, f you know, 14 years plus of, of experience, my own journey here. Um, I started out from nothing, and I was able to, I, you know, identify the product from a company in the industry, align myself as an affiliate, and then you put these things on top, okay, having the right awareness, following the right blueprint, and taking massive action following the right blueprint, you become successful, okay? The thing is, is this, if I don't have to create a product and the only thing I have to do is really identify what are the 4% of the key elements or, or the levers or the knobs that I can adjust, right? As, a, as, a, you know, as an independent affiliate, I don't have to have an office. I don't have to have staff. I don't have to have 
uh, phone systems in place. I don't have to have uh, you know, a big lease. I don't have to have insurances. I don't have to deal with merchant processing and collateral and all this stuff that, that goes into, you know, and all the headaches. Okay? I can make a whole lot of money if I'm smart promoting other people's products. So what I'm going to do right now, you guys, I'm going to walk you through a plan okay, on what, it, what does it take. Okay? How many of you guys would be interested in learning how do you go and engineer this? Because really what we're talking about here okay, is we're talking about getting to a million. Can you see this? A million dollars in a year. You can see this. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now, if this is our star right here, okay, if this is going to get you, Okay. Again, we live in a day and age to where if you make a million dollars as an entrepreneur, this is not, you're not, you, I mean, yeah, you're, you're, you're like you're in the top maybe one half of 1% population, you know, world population income wise. That's great. But look, if you're an entrepreneur and if you're serious, you know, about doing what you're doing, this is not that big of a deal. I mean, you, you know, you might seem like this is a lot of money until you actually get there and you're like, okay, oh, you only got $23,000 to play with a month. Right? And it's going to get you a pretty nice lifestyle. It's not going to be, you're not going to live like a, you know, uh, uh, like a king or whatever, right? You, I mean, you, you, but the thing is, is, it will get you freedom, okay? So you will live really comfortably. You will have all the cool things that you want, okay? You will have the savings. You will have all these things. You will have, you know, Uncle Sam taken care of. You will be contributing to the, to the society, to the community, to the ones that you love or care about, right? So you will feel satisfied. It's not just about you know, getting the monetary stuff, it's, 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 you know, it's the intangible that in most cases will get you, uh, you know, will get you that, that reward that money cannot get, right? So, so money becomes, you know, instead of thinking of the money as this bad, evil thing, money becomes a magnifying glass for who you, who you are, right? If you're a terrible person, dude, I'll get you a lot of money, you will just, you'll, you know, maybe you kill yourself faster doing drugs or something like that, right? I don't know, but it's going to be up to you. My job is not to tell you what to do. My job is to really open your eyes here and to tell you that, look, a million dollars a year is, you know, it's comfortable lifestyle, but it's no, you know, it's, it's nothing out of this world, really. And I think as an entrepreneur, how many of you guys are committed to yourself? Not to me. You don't have to commit to me, to anybody else. But how many of you guys here watching this, you deep down in your heart of hearts, you will commit that, you will figure out how to generate a million dollars in a year and you will not stop until that's reached or whatever your number is whatever your number happens to be okay from, from the comments that i'm seeing okay here uh most people were like seventeen thousand to twenty five thousand so for some of you guys this this number is going to be even bigger so some of you guys need to be at 1.5 okay some of you guys need to be at two okay now here's the thing, first and foremost, never allow yourself to fall into the trap thinking you cannot do this, because you can, okay? If somebody else can, you can. And it's not that, 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 it's not that big of a deal as I'm gonna show you, okay? Now, this doesn't happen overnight, so what we need to do is we need to backtrace this, right? And we need to say, okay, how do we go and generate our 100,000, okay? And then how do we, reverse engineer that to where we can first get to 10k and if we're at zero now okay so if this is your starting point your target is this star right here but you've got these milestones that we need to get through so what i'm going to walk you through for the rest of this session here today is i'm going to walk you through the steps and i'll give you a wire a framework okay that you can um that that you can ponder on and really think about how do you go right from zero literally i'm going to assume nothing i'm going to assume you are, you're at zero okay and so how do you go what do you do to go from zero to your first 10k i'm going to give you a framework here in a minute and then once you're there what's the framework what are the things that you focus on to get yourself here and then ultimately get yourself here okay now my question is is how many of you guys will dare to go that route right how many of you guys will dare to be committed and it's going to take commitment, right? It's going to take dedication, it's going to take focus, um, and it will, it will take determination, it will, it will take hard work, but I promise you the result is achievable to anybody as long as you follow the right plan, you got the right blueprint, you take massive action following the right blueprint, having the right awareness. Over the last, you know, this is our third session here, third, you know, part number three of this series, 
How many of you guys feel like your, your awareness kind of shifted a little bit, right? How many of you guys feel like your eyes, you know, your, the fog maybe got lifted off your, off your eyes a little bit when it comes to this money stuff, right? Is this, is this not as complicated as, as some people thought it is, right? How many of you guys think that this model right here really opened your eyes on really where you need to be focusing on and the fact that, you know, the, the number that most people think that they're making in a month is not really accurate 100%, yes? <clears throat> okay. Decide, commit, act, pay the price. So what I wanna do is I wanna walk you through and I'm gonna give you this, this, this framework, okay? I think it'll help you. <clears throat> the veil has been lifted, mindset, yep. I'll tell you this, for myself, I've been through all this process myself. I've done it, you know? And, um, and I'll tell you this, for me, my path has been selling somebody else's product as an affiliate, because it was easy entry, right? You can literally get plugged in, align yourself, <coughs> knowing this, I wanna walk you through. And then, um, and I made my first $100, you know, I made my first $1,000. I made my first $10,000. And then I 10 x it to 100000 I made my first million. I made my first five million as an affiliate entrepreneur. And so because of that, I can tell you this, without a shadow of a doubt, this is the easiest path anybody can take because industries are already there. Marketplace is already there. Great products are already there. You just gotta know where to find it, how to find it, um, and then how to market it, how to promote it. But the thing is, is this. Everything you do, as I'm about to walk you through, if you guys take notes, everything you do, this entire thing, okay, this entire thing should be your business. So if we're talking about affiliate, is the easiest way to get, to get into the door, right? I'm, I'm talking about the concept. I'm not talking about you depending on the thing. Because this money initially should be, should be coming into you, right? without you having to depend on anybody or anything for that money. So if you find yourself in a situation to where you're depending on a particular product to make you that money, that's not, a, that's not a good idea because what if that product is no longer around, right? Same thing in the company. You should never depend on any one of these things. You should be aware how to leverage, okay? You leverage these, okay? You align. You align with these, okay, industry company products, but throughout this whole journey, you've got to be building yourself. So let's jump into the, um, uh, into the, onto the computer here, okay? And hold on, let's not, let's not do that just yet. I'll walk you through in a minute, hold on a sec. And uh, let's kind of build this out together, yeah? Okay, go ahead and share, your, your, share my screen here. Let me know when you guys can see this. Okay, go ahead and share. Okay, l let me know when you guys can see this. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna give you this, this framework that will help you, okay? Hold on a sec here, make sure that we can see it. Okay, so this is where we're recording, streaming, okay, have it. Okay, good, so I see myself a screen, okay, good. Okay, sweet. Okay, so money machine engineering. Okay, let me, let me kind of walk you through. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay, check it out. So let's do this. Let's do zero to, okay, zero to 10K. Okay, how do we go from zero to $10,000? Yep. I'll tell you guys from my experience. Okay, I'll tell you from my experience. And, um, and then we're gonna talk about how do we go from, hang on here, from 10K to 100K. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay. And then we're gonna go and do 100K to 1 million. Okay, great. Looks good. Okay, check it out. Here is the, here is the, here is the framework. Okay. Number one, number one, from my experience, from working with a lot of people, from working on myself, right? I can tell you that um, 
no amount of money, okay, any amount of money that you will uh, go after, it will stem from the invisible stuff first, okay? So first and foremost is here are the components that would go into a place, okay? Activate your inner success mechanism. Let me explain to you what that means in a second, okay? When I look at something, all right, when I look at something here, and uh, let's see, where was, let me just erase some of this stuff here. Okay, let me just do this area. Okay, so this is our focus. <clears throat> okay, so if I'm right here, this is a big thing. Okay. 10K, 100K, 1 million, okay? This guy is gotta be worthy of the amount of money he desires, okay? The thing is, is this, it's called conditioning. So a lot of times we get conditioned, okay? So if we live, if I live in a bubble over here to where my income is 5K a month, and that's my conditioning, we, that gets grooved in, okay? That's why we speak the language we speak, is because of the environment, right? So the environment is more important than what's built into our, our genes from birth. So what I need to do first and foremost is I've got to put myself in the environment to where, to where thinking about this stuff right here becomes expectation. It's not just wishful thinking, it becomes expectation. And you, you develop something called positive expectancy internally for yourself, okay? So really what I'm talking about here is I'm talking about activating your success, inner success mechanism um, another way to put it like this is this, okay? So if I'm in the studio and the, and the temperature in the studio right there, there is a, a thermostat that's like 72 degrees, right? Or like 68 degrees. How, how do I change the, the temperature in this room permanently, okay? The only way that I can do that permanently is to go to a thermostat and adjust it, crank it up or turn it down. That's the only permanent way for me to change it. So the f first thing that I need to understand is I will never, ever, 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 <coughs> excuse me, ever, get to any of these milestones here, right? Any of these, unless I start to adjust my internal thermostats of success right here, right? Not literally, obviously, but I'm talking about metaphorically here. So my paradigm, my conditioning needs to, need, needs to become different. <coughs> Money is a byproduct, it's a measuring stick of, of, of who I am, right? Okay, so let's go back to my screen here real quick. Okay, <clears throat> next, as an affiliate marketer, <clears throat> okay, here's what I gotta understand. I gotta understand strategic product selection, okay? Strategic product selection is where do I find great products to sell, <clears throat> right, that are in high demand like we talked about, and I don't have to create my product, but I gotta, you know, I gotta understand how do I find those products, okay? This is gonna get me from, I mean, the, these will be my initial steps. So as I find a product, okay, and these are kind of the, the, uh, the things that I need to be focusing on, this is just a wireframe for you, that you focus on in the, in the order um, as I'm, you know, I, I try to put the, these things in order, basically con consolidating 15, you know, 14 years of experience uh, into, you know, from my personal business, you know, and my personal life into um, like a, 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 a timeline, if you will, of, of the things that we need to be focusing on, okay? So strategic product selection, if I am lacking, okay, in, uh, a certain personal awareness or self-esteem, or if I'm lacking that, if my thermostat is set to failure, right, uh, if I am unconsciously competent to failure, okay, I will never be able to spot good products to promote, no matter how great the industry or the company or the products might be. Okay, so all these things will be interconnected, right? So now, now that I have the product, next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do unique, I wanna, ha I wanna have unique positioning in the marketplace. Let me tell you why, I'll go back to me here real quick, okay? So unique positioning in the marketplace is really, really important. When I um, was an affiliate in the beginning uh, promoting other people's products, as, like when I got, first got started, I was in a company that had about 30 or 35,000 affiliates in that company. And I came in and I was doing like what everybody else was doing in the company. I was no different. You could not tell the difference, all right? I was doing uh, what the rest of the 30,000 affiliates were doing and that is called whoever gets lucky game, right? Have you ever been promoting something and you're like, dude, 
I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, right? I'm doing what all these other people are doing, but how come I'm not getting the results? And there's only a handful of people in any company, in any industry that are really, really crushing it, right? How do you get into that handful category? Because the masses always fail, right? But there's a few, it's the 96% and the 4% concept, okay? Do you wanna be the 96% or do you wanna be the 4%er? 4 percenters focus on unique positioning. Because you can be promoting the, sa the same product, but you wanna be positioned, right? You wanna be positioned in a way that people want to buy from you instead of your competitors. Okay, we'll talk about that. So let's go back to the screen here, okay? Next thing will be my messaging. Okay, so I'm gonna get very clear <coughs> on what my core message is, okay, as an affiliate entrepreneur, as I'm building my future, as I'm building my business, okay? And I wanna be a, a you know, I don't wanna be a gen, you know, generalist, right? I, I don't wanna be a wondering generality, as Zig Ziglar would say. I wanna be a meaningful specific. So my message has to be, like the products that I'm gonna select, the products that I'm gonna select, to go back to me. So the products I'm gonna be select, uh, hold on a second, let's go back, okay, so I wanna see. The products that I'll be selecting, okay, products that I'm gonna be selecting, I erased it. It needs to resemble my belief, okay? Here is a big thing I'm gonna tell you guys. As an affiliate marketer, from my personal experience, I'll tell you, um, I had, I'm trying to remember here. I, I think I might have promoted one or two, you know, j maybe just just a few, maybe a handful of products that I did not uh, that I did not personally buy, that I did not consume, like that, that I did not use. Every single product, for the most part, that I have ever promoted, were products that were something that I was using, I was um, that I enjoyed, that I liked, that I benefited from, and those are the products that are recommended to other people that also solved similar, you know, problems for other people that I had. Make sense? So for me, uh, the big thing being an affiliate marketer was promoting products that I believed in. Okay, there's a difference between transactional business, right, and relationship business. If I'm promoting as an affiliate entrepreneur, if I'm building this to be an affiliate, you know, to, be an, to become an affiliate entrepreneur, I wanna make sure that I position myself for ultimate success long term because I will not get here through transactional uh, business model. I'll not get here through transactional business model. It has to evolve, okay, into relationship business model. Because when I'm dealing with people, unless I'm selling like pencils here, or markers or like light bulbs or something like that, like commodity, which I don't think, you know, I don't think most people are doing that. Even in e-commerce, okay, even in e-commerce, if you wanna get big, why is Apple, Apple? Is that because they make computers? Well, Dell makes computers, right? Um, other, you know, Sony makes computers, you know, all these other companies, HP makes computers, but they're not anywhere near as successful as Apple. Why? Because Apple has a certain identity. Apple has a certain relationship with their fans, right? Or their fans feel like they have a certain relationship, something that you can't touch, taste, see, or smell, but it's there. You can feel it, right? And it's, it's a relationship. So, so it's not, Apple is not you know, a transactional company. They're not in, in a transactional business. They're in the relationship business, okay? Think of Harley Davidson, right? People buy, spend crazy, crazy money um, just because, of, just because of, you know, because they, they feel that sense of connection to the brand, to the company. You want to make sure that whatever products you represent, it will be an extension of your personality, right? It will be an extension, and so I don't, my transactional model, if I'm in just transactional business, it might get me to 5K a month, maybe 10K a month, but it's always gonna be grind, 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 and I'll never get myself to 100K and a million dollars. I'll never do that, okay? But I'll do that uh, through being focused on relationship. You know, uh, uh, instead of transactional business, I wanna make sure that I have a relationship business. And relationship, I'm really in business of people, right? So I'm gonna do that, go back to the screen here real quick. I'm gonna do that through the messaging that I'm gonna be putting out, okay? So these are very, very important components. Uh, let me make sure that we're, this is making sense, okay? Values, okay? Irresistible offer, I'm a 4% for sure. Does this make sense, everybody, yeah? <clears throat> okay, somebody, some of you guys are worried about my, my scratchy throat. Don't worry about that, it's all good, okay? <laughs> I appreciate it, though. 
OK, so messaging is going to be re really important. Now, m most people will not get this, and I, and I get it. You know, that's totally fine. Most people don't get it. Uh, but the few of you that will get it, you will change everything for, your, for yourself, OK? So once I have my messaging in place, OK, what, I, what do I stand for? What's my, why did I get into the, why, did I pro why do I decide to promote that product or the other product, right? What's the, uh, what's the story? Is there a story behind that? Um, when I promoted the product as an affiliate, um, there, you know, there's usually a story, right? So if I bought a product for myself, I used it, it made a big difference for myself, it made an impact for myself, there is a story that I can monetize, uh, and, and there is a reason for me to talk about that product, right? It becomes product-driven messaging instead of just how much money can I make off of those people. Have you guys, have you guys, you know, do, do you know uh, anybody that you know from a marketing world or marketing arena that? Or maybe you have heard an expression of people saying, well, go get him, right? Talking about, you know, motivating team members or whoever they're talking to about getting more sales. Oh, go get him. Well, who is them, right? Now, check it out. Put yourself in the shoe of your customer. Uh, this, is a, this is a test I give to myself all the time. How would you feel, right? If somebody was trying to sell you something, they would refer to you as like, hey, uh, let, 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 me, let me go get him, right? Let me go get him. Do you want to be, go, do, do, do you want to, to be that person who somebody else wants to go get, okay? You don't feel good about it. So how you think about your business, how you think about running your business, if your focus, okay, if your focus is just purely transactional, you will be temporary. You'll be like the people that started out with me, you know, 13 years ago, 14 years ago, and 99% of them are gone. 99% of them. Maybe one or two guys are still around. But 99% of them, they're no longer doing what we started out to do. They're no longer in, right? Because it was transactional focus, short term, okay? It's very, very important. This is a you know, million dollar um, idea there. Okay, go back to the screen. <clears throat> okay, so once I know my messaging, right, I gotta have my core skill sets in marketing. Okay, so this is where I, um, this is where I can, uh, we can, you know, further kind of break this category down into uh, marketing. So which, what, what is marketing? What is this? Traffic generation, right? How to drive traffic, um, that's important component. Okay, uh, that's gonna come in right away. So whether you're at zero, you cannot wait until you make $10,000 a month or $10,000 before you start learning how to drive traffic. You got to understand how to do that right from the get-go because that, that will fuel all the other things here that we have outlined, right? And ultimately get you from where you are to the, to the next milestone. The next one here is as you're driving traffic, right? Your, another component here is multi-channel prospect acquisition, okay? Here's what I mean by that. You wanna build a list, okay? So the only way I can communicate my message through my, to my audience is for me to build a list, right? For me to build a list. So, so even every time I promote an affiliate program or affiliate offer or some, you know, somebody, somebody else's product as an affiliate, I always focus part of the blueprint, okay? I teach this, by the way, okay? I teach this, this is a blueprint right here, um, and, and I followed this blueprint for 14 years, okay? Probably like 13 years, because the first year, almost for the entire year I failed. Failed for like first eight months miserably. And then I've discovered a blueprint. And this separated me from my competition, this separated me from everybody else who was doing what I was doing, and it put me on a path, I'm like, dude, anything's possible, right? So multi-channel prospect acquisition is, I wanna, I wanna build a list from multiple channels, okay? We can talk a little bit later about that. So building your list is really important, go, go back to the screen, uh, is really important because that's gonna determine whether I have my message to send to or not, to, to, to people, right? <clears throat> Man, my, my voice is starting to really go down. I'm gonna talk to you like this in a moment, okay? So next, the next component here is customer acquisition, right? Customer acquisition, <clears throat> and I want to sell it for products. Again, we can talk about that, but these are, let me just kind of fly through them. Um, 
as I get customers, here's what I want to focus on, okay? Can I create multiple streams of income, okay? Creating multiple streams of income will be immediately necessary because what I do here, okay, go back to me real quick. What did, I, what did we talk about? I think it's, uh, it was in, in step or part one, yeah? We talked about, we talked about, um, well, I can, I can do it here, okay? So what we do in this phase right here, okay? What we do in phase one, this is phase two, this is phase three, okay? So what we do in phase one, it needs to be a, a stepping stone, okay? It needs to be prepping you for phase two, okay? So I, I don't wait until phase two for me to start stacking, you know, for me to create multiple streams of income. I wanna have that prepared, I wanna set it up immediately from the get-go because the situation I wanna find myself to be in is, is this, okay? This is me right here starting out from scratch. I got nothing right now, but I wanna set myself up it's just build, like building a house, okay? Why is the blueprint so important, you guys? See, most people follow, take massive action following a wrong blueprint, and they're following a blueprint, metaphorically speaking, that's like for a shack or a shed instead of a mansion, okay? This right here is your mansion, would you agree? Would you agree that this will get you, in real life, it's gonna get you that cool mansion that you, that you always dreamed about, okay? Now, check it out, in business, your business structure is like that house, okay? If you have a blueprint for a shack, you will never build a mansion. But you gotta have a blueprint for a mansion, okay? You gotta have the blueprint for a mansion to build a mansion. And part of that blueprint is your multiple streams of income. So if you build a house, the first thing they do is they lay out the blueprints, they create it, the architect creates it, right? And you're like, all right, this room is gonna be here and this is gonna be here. So you can see it before the thing is ever built, okay? If they don't account for a particular room, in that initial blueprint, it's not getting built. If you don't account for income streams while you're, you're, you're selecting your products immediately, right away, if that is not in your blueprint, okay, if you're not preset for that, it will never happen. And the reason most people never get here is because they depend on one. One traffic source, one income stream, right? One product, right? One company, you don't, you wanna have this. You want, on a macro level, you want to have one central focus. Your macro is this. Your micro needs to be complementing. So I can have multiple products, okay? And we're going to talk a lot, of, you know, a lot about that a little bit later on. So I can have all these multiple products. They're not distracting one another, but they're complementing one another. And so that my customer acquisition, okay, um, as, I'm, as I'm, you know, we talked about here, you know, a few minutes ago about customer acquisition. My customer acquisition, each of my customers, okay, can become a repeated customer so that I don't have to, you know, I only got 24 hours in a day. So I'm working through systems, okay? We're going to talk a little bit about that. Make sense? So I want to have that component in place as well, okay? Multiple streams of income right away. Okay, how I'm going to do that, okay? is ultimately all that stuff, you guys in 4% have been following my work, okay? All that stuff is, we talk about developing of your central hub, which is your home on the internet, okay? And that's why uh, the, the reason most people are not able to get to any, one, you know, any of these numbers here, let me make sure that we're still here. Makes sense, right? Let me refresh, make sure that we're still live and you guys are with me because I have not been paying attention to the comments. Okay, blueprint is a must. I have a product I need to, I need to get to you and Vic, okay. Vic, your voice is getting Halloween theme now. <laughs> okay, I have been, da -da -da -da. double check, okay. Okay, so, so, so check it out, right? You guys, these are right here. See my screen? Okay, these right here, you guys, are the necessary components and every one of them is there for a reason, okay? Every, if you remove any one of these components, your blueprint will get messed up, okay? Uh, if you trust me, 
okay? And if you have been paying attention to the stuff I've been teaching you. Um, look, make a note of these. If you're taking notes, okay, make sure that you have all of these components. If you're not, if you're not set up, right, if you're missing core skill sets in marketing, you will never be able to get your customers at the level that you need to be able to get you to this run rate. Okay, see what we really, really need here, you guys, okay, is this. All those components is kind of like a pl an airplane taking off, okay? Like an airplane taking off. Imagine in a plane, a big 747 gets on the runway, right? Goes full throttle. You want to have all of the components in place because what you, what you do is you go from zero to your first 10K. This, what I hear, what you do, all of these steps here, all of those things that you develop, okay? <clears throat> this will be the hardest work you will ever do in your career, I promise you. It will be harder for you to go from zero to your first 10K, creating all these things, go back to the screen real quick, okay? Creating all these things, one of the most important things will be the first one here, because it will determine, okay, your, your oof, right? It will determine your, uh, um, your determination, you know, and, and, and your dedication and your stick to itiveness, you know, for the rest of these, okay? So all of these needs to be carefully cultivated. Okay, go back. It needs to be very carefully cultivated because this will be the hardest work you will ever do, ever, as an independent entrepreneur, selling, whether it's selling other people's programs, whether it's building your, your network marketing company, whether it's, you know, promoting, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. But since we're talking about, you know, affiliate marketing, this can also be applied to promoting other companies' products, at, like say, network marketing. Okay, the reason people, uh, on average, in network marketing generate, what is it, 2,400 bucks a year, is because they're missing a lot of these components. Okay, they're missing a lot of these components uh, in the, from their blueprint. So they're, they're trying, they're grinding, right? Taking massive action on a blueprint that's gonna, that, that only leaves them with a little shack that looks ugly, okay? And, and they get disappointed. Is this helpful, everybody, yes? So what we do here, okay, what we do here, we're preparing to what's gonna happen here. If you do your work right over here, it's like airplane, Picks it, picking up momentum. It's like airplane gaining speed, ready for a takeoff. You don't really take off until you, until you hit about 10K. Let me tell you this. The magic number in business, online especially, okay, is about 10K. If you can understand okay, how to get yourself to $10,000 doing whatever you chose to do, in this case, if it's affiliate marketing, okay, you're leveraging other companies' products and other companies and different, you know, different industries, whatnot, but if you can do that and you understand how you did that and you can repeat the process, that's when you become free. Because if you can do 10K, it will take half as much effort for you to go from 10K to 100K. So really what you're doing in this phase two here is you're going faster with less effort. It does not take 10x amount of effort. It actually takes about half of the amount of effort that it took you to go from zero to 10K than it is for you to, to go from 10K to 100K. Does that make sense? So an airplane, your, your metaphorical, uh, let's see if I can draw this out, right? So your metaphorical airplane, oh my goodness, this is, so it's, a, it, it's taken off, right? Once it took off, look, an airplane is better off being in the sky than it is on the ground. That's what it's made for. It's made for the sky, okay? An airplane needs to be up in the air. You guys agree? You wanna make sure, but this doesn't never get in the air if, it, if, if the runway is not long enough. And if all those pre-flight checks that, that they're going through are checked off and everything is in place, okay? Because if one of those things are missing, this thing is gonna crash. If any one of those important key ingredients in your business is missing, or in your blueprint, you will never take off. Once you take off, it's just, can, it's just maintaining the momentum, right? And airplanes, engines don't work as hard, right? Once it takes, up, takes off. So let me walk you through the second step, the second phase here real quick. Is this making sense? Yep, 
please give me a copy of that screen steps. Okay, so you guys are talking it down here. Helpful. Okay, good. Okay, <coughs> so here is what happens. Okay, here are the components that I teach as it as it relates to the second phase here, which is how do we go from 10k to 100k? Okay, I'm gonna list them out here: market, leadership, positioning. Okay, um, this is where you start to take control of your positioning in your marketplace. Okay, and naturally build and scale your influence. Okay, this is effortless. This becomes effortless or almost effortless once you are up and running, okay? Because you've got enough momentum here. You guys can see my cursor. You, you got enough momentum here in this phase. So then the next thing that you focus on is just shifting your, your focus a little bit into creating market leadership positioning. Okay, we're going to talk about it. So this is what we're talking about, invisible, okay, influence and persuasion, okay, and persuasion skill sets, okay? Uh, this is where you become more influential because this is where you have more confidence, you have more momentum in your business, and this is where you truly, this is where people start to listen to you. Nobody wants to listen to you necessarily here. So here, in this phase, you got to do a lot of leveraging, right? You got to leverage a lot of stuff uh, strategically without putting yourself, you know, on a weak side, right? So you're going to be, you want to stay on a strong side, but you want to leverage. Th this right here is where people start to listen to you, okay? This right here is now that we had this multiple streams of income component pre-configured here in phase one, okay, we might not necessarily have uh, a lot of money coming in right away from multiple directions, right? We can have, you know, maybe one major st stream of income, but, but then we might have some supplementals. Where now, where we have more influence and more audience, right? Now what we can do is we can do something called strategic product stacking okay so this is where I, I can stack relative products strategic relative products that uh, complement each other so <clears throat> think about it like this if I have a product that I'm promoting over here and I've built an audience around this product that's my focus okay and I'm doing all the stuff that we talked about in that phase one so when I go to phase two now what I can do is I can start stacking products that are relevant there there might be different products but they're still in in, in you know in in the similar genre Okay, that maybe somebody didn't resonate with this first product, but now I have enough influence and momentum now that I'm not operating from a desperation standpoint or this mindset or this, you know, uh, this feeling of being desperate, right? Now it's like playing a game. Now you're like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this product will, will do better. So you start to stack those products. You can do funnel connections and all that stuff, okay? So go back to the screen real, real quick. So this would be um, the thing that's gonna get you, you know, to 10X your business, but your effort is not going to be that much more than what it took you initially, okay? Mass promotion strategies. This is where you can do standalone uh, marketing campaigns that, that are more like launches. So what I've done before as an affiliate marketer is I would literally take a product, right? And by this time, see, you're, you're, you know, you're talking phase two stuff here. So you already have momentum, right? So you already have a list. Your, your messaging, people resonate with your message, you know, you're taking them, um, you know, through your hub, you know, right? so they resonate with you, you start building that relationship. So what I've done that worked really, really well for me as an independent uh, affiliate marketer is creating or engineering, um, engineering promotions almost like launches, right? So the product can be there as an evergreen product, but you can take a product, you can step into, you know, a company or an industry and with the influence that you now have, you can engineer a wave of momentum, okay? You can engineer a, wa a wave of momentum around any product you really want that you believe in, as long as you believe in it, right? And you can create a launch within a, an existing company through your influence. I'm not sure if I'm making sense to you guys or you just do advance of this stuff, right? Go back to the screen here real quick. Let me walk you through the rest of this stuff. So mass promotion strategies, um, we can talk about that later as well, okay? This is where I start to develop custom systems and leverage, okay? Custom systems and leverage, this is where I really st start, you know, separating myself and um, it's almost like putting your, 
you know, if it's a, you know, stick shift vehicle, right, manual transmission, I'm, this is like going into like a fourth gear or something like that. So your car goes faster with less effort, right? And then really what I want to do here is ultimately I want to plant seeds for domination. Okay? That's it. Okay? So look, these are the components, okay? These are the components that uh, go into my second phase. Okay? Not as much, but it's a lot more fun. Okay? This work right here becomes fun. Because this is where you're not desperate for money, okay? You have, you have enough money coming in so that, you know, your confidence now is better. You have results. And now your, your work becomes fun. This is like, uh, becomes like a game, right? But a good kind of game. If you have good intentions and you have good, you know, good heart, you start to, to test ideas. You start to come up with ideas. And, and, and you're really preparing yourself for ultimate domination, which is this phase right here. Once you go from this phase to this phase, and again, the work that you do here prepares you for the work that you will be doing here. With, this is the domination phase. Okay? There is a reason why um, affiliate marketing industry is a $6.7 billion a year industry, meaning that $6.7 billion getting, is getting paid out to people, affiliate marketers. This does not include network marketing. This does not include MLM. This is just purely simple affiliate marketing. Okay, like people promoting affiliate products. Okay, 80% of all the companies in the world, I think with an exception of like, like commodity products, I think, you know, but 80% of the companies in the world have some sort of an, an affiliate program that I can just align with and I can get paid as an affiliate. Now, here's the, here's the crazy part. $6.7 billion getting paid out to affiliates every year. 4% of people that are affiliate marketers share in the wealth. 96% get peanuts, right? Which category do you want to be in? Okay, now those 4%, they dominate. Those 4% of people, they're generating collectively like 96 or 97 percent of all that 6.7 billion dollars is getting paid out. Pretty crazy, right? How many of you guys would like to be in the top four percent of that? <coughs> okay, making sense, Rick? Let's take a look at some of your comments here, you guys. Make sure that we're not, I'm not losing you. I know that some of this stuff can be, you know, can fly over your head. Let me know if you guys are learning some things here. No peanuts for me. Phyllis is, Phyllis is determined. Phyllis, you're going to go places, I'm going to tell you. Okay? Love it. So it's no accident, you guys, right? It's no accident. Success is not accidental. Never is accidental. Success is engineered, right? Affiliate marketing, simple to get in, easy to get in. The easiest thing to get into. You just create yourself an affiliate account with companies. Boom, you're in business. That's it. And then what? All right? It's like, it's almost like getting married, man. It's like, all right. How easy is it to get married? Oh, that's easy. You just get married. Ah, and then what? Right? And then Wednesday comes. And then it's like, oh my goodness, man. What do you do now? How do you handle this? How do you make it work? Right? Donna says, I'm learning a lot. Dude, it's easy to get in a company. It's easy to sign up as a representative. You know? It's easy to, <laughs> to call yourself an entrepreneur. Right? And, and, but, but, but how do you make it work, dude? That's how you make it work. Okay? So let me walk you through the domination phase here. Go back to my screen real quick. Okay? So here's how you go from, from 100K to a million. Okay? Here is what I want to do. Okay? Nope. I don't want to do that, but I want to do this. Okay, great. So if you guys are taking notes, I'm telling you this from my experience. This is not theory. This is... This is how I took myself from nothing to my first 10K, 100K, and then a million and beyond, okay? But once you go from 100K to a million, here's what you focus on. The things that got you to, uh, to 100 or 10K and 100K will not get you to a million. It will not, okay? There is a, there's gonna be a glass ceiling here. So what we need to do is we need to expand, okay? We need to pivot, we need to adjust our strategy to go further. And here is what we focus on, okay? 
recurring revenue models and systems. Okay, what I've done before is this. So you will go when you reach about a hundred thousand or so a month, consistent, right? Residual con or consistent, you know, predictable income. Uh, you will be looked at as a leader in that particular industry. I don't care what company you're promoting with, you will be noticed, right? People will notice you, people, you will get called, you will get calls, you know? Uh, and so people that are following you, people that you're serving, if you do what I'm gonna teach you, which is run everything through your brand, through your hub, okay? You will become a celebrity in your space. And you just have to embrace the fact. That you will be you will be a celebrity in your space. Anybody have a problem with that, right? If you want to be like, oh my god, I just want to be behind the scenes. I don't want nobody to see me. I don't want, you know, I don't know, dude. You got to figure out something else to do. But I'm telling you, we live in a day and age where, um, I mean, look at what's going on with the social media, right? Nobody, like, if if if, like the world is getting smaller, right? So so people that are shy, it's pretty difficult for them. I guess you might do like drop shipping and kind of hide behind an email or maybe some kind of a thing. Uh, but it's so much easier, man. It's just so much easier to get to skill up. It's so much easier to go through this stuff right here. Go back to my screen here. It's so much easier to go through, through these, okay? These things right here and really what you do in your phase one, zero to, to 10K and develop these so that you have the necessary skills so that uh, you don't have to feel awkward when you're talking about your topic. Whatever products you, you represent and you promote, and if you do it like I'm gonna teach you, right? Like I'm telling you here, you build invisible power. And when you have that invisible power, you don't have to worry about how people look at you. You know what you know, and you know that you took the time to develop yourself, skill set. Right? If you have a, you, you acquire skill, you become more valuable in the marketplace. Your income follows your value, right? You don't, you don't have to have your, your, you know, your palms are never sweaty when you go on camera anymore because you know what you're talking about. You took the time. Most people, the 96 percenters, they never do that. They never take the time to become great. You took the time for yourself to become great, right? Do you want to take the time for yourself to become great? That's the answer you, you give to yourself. Do you want to become great or do you want to become mediocre or be mediocre, right? It's up to you. So, so here's the thing. When I have that audience, right, and people look at you as, you know, um, almost like a celebrity, right, in, in, that, in that space, don't let that go into your head, okay? Keep the main thing to the main thing, continue to grind, but here's what you do. You start serving people at a different level. This is where you really start to create something that is, again, everything is connected. Your hub now becomes an extension of who you are, right? So now you're like, all right, let's build something. You know, if, if you build this metaphorical skyscraper, okay, if this is your skyscraper, you took the time to build this business, you follow the blueprint to build this, your, your metaphorical business, your skyscraper, right? Now what you can do is when you get to phase three is this. Metaphorically speaking, you can say, hey, I'm gonna lease, I'm gonna lease this, all right? These units. And so you become, your income, it snowballs. You started out as an affiliate marketer, but you're not depending on anything. That was a means to an end, but you're really building yourself. Okay, what happens to your income if you have a hundred, you know, two hundred, three hundred, three thousand tenants paying you every single month? It, it goes, it increases exponentially. It multiplies. That's exactly what's going to happen in phase three. Okay, that's how you go from a hundred thousand to a million dollars. You don't go to a million dollars depending on other products. You go to a million dollars strategically, leveraging other products, but also building yourself in the process. That's how you do it, okay? Go back to the screen here real quick. 
So this is what I'm talking about, recurring revenue models and systems. This is supplemental. You don't, you, you don't have to have your own product here yet, right? You can have systems that support products that you have been promoting all this time, and now you are like somebody who has paved the way, right? So may, now you can have systems for selling that product. Now you have perspective. Now you have uh, uh, you know, a certain amount of knowledge that you can now systematize and create and leverage and create these revenue, uh, uh, you know, recurring revenue models and all that good stuff, okay? Next, all right, systems scaling, okay, this is where you scale your stuff, movement, marketing, movement marketing campaigns, this is where you really start to make your own difference, okay? Um, <coughs> you'll be able to, to influence and channel massive amounts of people, right? You'll be able to create, you know, disciples, if you will, right? Your success stories, you will start to make your own difference in that space. Um, you, 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 at this time, you may or may not want to start thinking about, you know, maybe creating something for yourself, okay? Um, and really what you do, where you, you know, where you get to is this thing called category, ownership, Category ownership initiative. So, so really, what happens here is you become you become a voice in that space. You become a voice in that space. Make sense? My goodness. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, some of you can write a topic. Da, da, da. Donna Lovett says, "Watching how you have done things shows how to dominate uh, your own field in addition to teaching." Okay, does this make sense, everybody? Right. So as you can see, do you see now why most people are not able to live their dream life, right? Do we see how, why? So that's why, because most people are not, most people are not doing what needs to be done, okay, to do this properly. Um, now, I'm not, whatever your goal is, okay, again, if you follow this model, that number, will probably be somewhere over here. It will not happen to you by accident. It will not happen to you because, you know, you want it to happen or, or it's not going to happen overnight. But there is a process to getting there, okay? So if you guys are taking notes, okay, ponder on this, you know, think about these ideas, uh, let it marinate in your head, you know, let me know in the comments here if it, if it, if it you know, if it's beneficial to you. Um, figure this out for yourself. I wouldn't leave you without giving you a solution, though. Right? I've done this kind of stuff for myself. There is a reason why 96% of people fail and only 4% of people succeed. There is a reason why. This is why. Okay? If you do what's hard, life will be difficult. Or life will be easy. If you do what's easy, life will be difficult. Okay? R remember that. Always remember that. Now, here's what happens in our industry. Right? When you look at any industry, uh, you look at marketplaces, you look at you know, trainings, you look at what's, what's, you know, what's being um, offered out there, there's two things in common, okay, when it comes to entrepreneur training. Theory and complexity, two things, right? Theory and complexity. And that's why most people fail, because they get, they buy this product, talking about this new social media widget or whatever, right? Oh, this new thing came out over here, and this new thing came out over here, and they're getting distracted, uh, and so you acquire all this information. We're not lacking information here, we're not. Go to YouTube, search any topic, literally any topic under the sky. You don't have to buy a single product in your life. <laughs> you really don't. Not anymore. We have that information. We have abundance of information. We have information overload. And that, my friend, is why people fail. Because we have too much information. So we're not lacking information. What do we lack then, right? We lack direction. We lack compilation of information or we like organization of information and how do you, what do you do, right? All those things I showed you, okay, let me tell you this. Go back to my screen here, okay, so check it out. Okay, all of these things right here, this is your blueprint, right here, I kid you not. This is how I went from nothing, from zero, to my first 10K, 100K, and a million, and beyond. And for you to go, you know, for you to make your second million, it would be like 10 times easier than what it took you to make your first million. Okay? For you to go from 0 to 10K, it will be a lot harder than it is for you to go from 10K to 100K. 
and then it's going to be a lot easier for you to go from 100K to a million, okay, if you do this properly. This right here, this is a blueprint. This right here, my friend, is the, is the, is the you know, framework. If you follow this, figure out for yourself, you can do this. If you need help with this, okay, here's my question to you. Is how do you do this step by step? So how do you take all that sea of information, which is needed, any one of those components missing will not get you to your end destination, guarantee. You can try it for yourself. You can go to YouTube, watch all, kind of, all kinds of videos, any topic. You don't have to ever buy any products. But how many of you would like to know, dude, what do you do literally day one? So if you start today, what do you do today without getting confused, without getting overwhelmed, without getting frustrated? With all that stuff that's available that's on your desk, imagine all those things being laid out here on this desk. You'd be like, dude, what, what do I pick? What, what do I pick first, second? What do I focus on first, second? I only got like, you know, 10 hours in, in a, of work time or maybe it's five hours of your productive time in a day. What do you focus on first, second, third, fourth, fifth? What, how do you do this, right? That's the question I ask myself. After I have done, the, you know, this model for myself, after I've taught a lot of people how to do it, so what do you do day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Here's what I'm gonna tell you. You don't have to guess anymore because we have a path that you can follow. And you can check it out. It's called the 4% Success Challenge specifically for affiliate marketers. We've created this for one simple reason because nothing like this has ever been created before. And this is something that every single aspiring affiliate marketing entrepreneur needs. Not, that's what they want, that's one thing, but wanting something and needing something is two different things. You might want uh, a Gucci purse, ladies, but you need to feed yourself every day, otherwise you die, right? So how do we get you what you want? That's what you want, right? That's what you want. What you need, is daily guidance. That's why we created the 4% success challenge for affiliate marketing. Literally lays out all this stuff, all of these things right here. This is actually, this is actually uh, the framework that the 4% success challenge for affiliate marketing follows precisely, specifically. And then what we do is we break each one of these steps down into specific bite-sized pieces on a daily basis. Today, tomorrow, here's what we do, here's what we focus on, here's what we talk about. I teach it to you like this, in front of this whiteboard, on the computer screen, right? I take you, put you over the shoulder and say, okay, step number one, what about that conditioning? Let's start there, but we're not gonna take, this is not a personal development course. You can learn personal development on YouTube for free, right? You don't have to buy anything. But we need to be very, very specific. So how do we strip out 96% of the fat and garbage that you don't need Okay, because you can be, you can, you can find yourself being immersed, right? Listening to personal development videos and audios all day long and not get any further uh, or, or any closer to your goal here. How do we focus, how do we replace theory and complexity with results and simplicity? Okay, that's the difference here. And so what we do is we focus on specific, most potent key elements today. What do we need to focus on today? Starting from scratch. From zero, what do we focus on today? Okay, that includes working on your paradigm, changing the way you think, your behavior, re rewiring you for success so that you become unconsciously competent for success. So anything you do, naturally, it will just result in success. Most people, they're unconsciously competent for failure, right? Their, their, their failure, unconscious, you know, their, 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 their unconscious competence for failure is set, right? Their, their thermostat is set to fail. So anything they do, they just mess it up, mess it up. Me they'll never ever, they'll never ever take off, okay? They never take off. Um, we wanna get you to become unconsciously competent for success. And so it changes you as a person. The person you are today, you will be completely different when you get here. Heck, you'll be a totally different person by the fifth day, okay, on this process here. Your fifth day in, you will completely think, behave, notice things differently than most people. So it changes you within, you know, from within, 
And also at the same time, we focus on, okay, how do we get into an industry? How do we align with a company? What are we looking for? How do we align with products? How do we pull those products and establish our hub, establish my presence, start building my, my business, follow the blueprint for success? This is a blueprint for this star right here. This is not a blueprint for 10K, and then we have to change the blueprint to go to 100K. No, no, no. This right here is a blueprint for a million dollars as an affiliate entrepreneur selling other people's products while building your empire. This is a blueprint. This is right here. This is the end destination. This is the goal. And so what we do is we follow it by reverse engineering it to day one and day two and three, day three and day four and so on. Okay? So it's really, really cool. If you are interested in that, okay? If you guys are interested in that, check out the 4% Success Challenge. Um, if you're watching this as a, as a live here today on, you know, what's today? What's today? Tuesday or Thursday? Um, Tuesday, all right? <laughs> it's been fun, man. Uh, so if, if you're watching this live on Tuesday, right, then um, it's becoming available tomorrow. Um, go ahead and create yourself an account to the 4% and you'll be able to uh, get first notified and, you know, what, and get all the information on the 4% Success Challenge. Um, it's available, it, it's affordable to everybody, literally everybody. Let me tell you why we're doing this, success stories, okay? My personal mission is I want to have a million success stories from the 4% in two years. Huge, giant goal, okay? So the way we're going to do this is we're going to focus on, well, first of all, putting out the information that is true, okay? And, you know, if you resonate with this, if you're somebody like, I don't know, man, I don't, I think I'm good. If you're not, you know, that's not for you, okay? But if you're like, dude, I want to draw the line in the sand right here enough struggles, enough failure, I know what my goal is, I know what my number is, help me get there. Instead of tell me what to do, show me what to do. Show me how to do it. Let me watch how it's done, okay? So if you're sick and tired of just other people telling you what you should be doing, and, you, and you're like, dude, I wish somebody would just show me what to do instead of tell me what to do, and this is for you, okay? I'm looking for success stories, so that's why we made it affordable for literally everybody. You can check it out if you choose to. Regardless, that's not, the, you know, that's not really a pitch for, for the challenge. It's just an opportunity for you to uh, get a part of it. Because we want to we want to create a huge, massive ripple, okay? A huge, massive ripple in the entrepreneur space. Um, and, uh, you know, if you see yourself being, you know, a, a partner in that mission, then I would love to, to help you succeed, okay? Forget about changing the world. Forget about changing other people's lives. Worry about changing your life, right? Worry about changing your situation. Worry about changing, getting yourself on a, on a solid financial ground, and then you'll figure out how to help others. You will not be able to help others until you're able to understand how do you get here. Once your plane takes off, your metaphorical plane, that's when you start making your difference somewhere in here, okay? So if you're super, super, super hungry, stick to this like a, like a crazy glue, okay? Because our end destination is a million dollars. This is not a promise, it's not a guarantee, this is not a get rich quick. You will have to work like crazy, right? You will have, you will have to be laser focused, 100% committed, okay? You will, you'll have to do things without questioning many things. But I promise you, the end destination is kind of like, you know, when I was 35 pounds overweight and I and I got to the point to where, you know, I was looking at myself in the mirror from the, from, you know, in a picture. Not in the mirror, but in a picture, right? And I'm like, I didn't recognize myself. I'm like, dude, I got, I, I'm out of shape, man. Enough. Drew the line in the sand. That same night, came across Tony Horton. By accident. Didn't know who the guy was. Didn't know him from Adam. Watched an infomercial about P90X. Got it right there on the spot. And I said, you know what? As much as I love cakes, as much as I love all these, you know, uh, carbs and, you know, and sweets and whatnot, right? None of that stuff becomes relevant. That's it. I am ready. When the student is ready, teacher appears. If you're sick and tired of your financial situation, if you're sick and tired of failing, you're going to have to commit. When you commit, I promise you a different life. Financially, it will be up to you, okay? I'm not going to promise you any amount of money, because money is just a reflection of who you become. But I do promise you a completely different life. The way you think, the way you behave, the way you act, the way
the way you look at marketing, the way you market, you will never be the same. Okay? So some of you guys will fall into like, you know, maybe 10K category here. You're going to dilly dally about it. Okay? Some of you guys are going to go a little bit deeper into the water and you'll be like, dude, I'm going to go for it and I'm going to be, I'm going to get to 50K a month or 50K a year or just 50, my first 50K ever. Okay, the, the, the money here is just, a, is just a scorecard. Understand, it's not, it's secondary, it's not the focus. The focus is what you do and who you become. Money follows that. Money is just a reflection, it's just a scorecard. When you play the game, how good you are at playing the game, that score, you know, that basketball score, on a, on a board is your money in the bank. So you gotta get very good playing the game. Okay? <coughs> so that's it. <coughs> you guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, if you are interested in checking out the 4% Success Challenge, go ahead and check it out, and I think you'll be very impressed. Um, at any rate, I appreciate you. Hope you got a lot of value from this. We're gonna continue with the 4% Entrepreneur Show. You know, keep tuning in every week, and I'm gonna keep sharing ideas and strategies and things that are you know, that have made a big difference for me, and you do whatever you want with it. You know, if you find this to be um, helpful, please share it with others, I appreciate it. You know, we're on a mission to, you know, to, to, to creating an entrepreneur's hub, right? We, we want to have a, a central place to where we teach entrepreneurs how to become great. Not the 96%, not the just, let's just get by, you know, percentage or category, but dude, how do we become great? How do, how do, we, how do we lead? You don't want to be an echo. You know what an echo is? You want to be a voice, right? You, you, you want to be the trailblazer. You want to have the skills that you can say, you know what, follow me, let's go. And you make it happen. You got to skill up. I can help you do that. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, God bless. Be awesome. See ya.